Hello everybody, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video and in this video we're going to take a look at exporting a mailbox to a PST file. Now before you can run the command new mailbox export request you have to be assigned permissions to do that. Now if you head over to Active Directory and you go to the Microsoft Exchange Security Groups, you'll notice that I created a mailbox import export uh, group, new role assignment, because it w it's not there by default and you need to assign members to the group. So if I go in here, you'll see that I'm assigned to this group, so I'll be able to run the command. If you don't have permission and you type in um, new mailbox, export it will not recognize this request it will tell you that the term is un unrecognizable etc so in large environments just remember you need to set up the role assignment let it replicate add users to it and then you should be able to start with your exports now I've done a earlier video on this on exports, it's uh, in my series for Exchange 2019, you can go and have a look. But in this example, we're gonna basically run this command. Now I've pre-populated it because I wanna do a specific mailbox. So before we actually run this command, right, on my Azure machine, you I have a D drive, which you're not supposed to use, um, you can see here. But I created a folder called PST files and I shared it. So if I go under sharing permissions, you'll notice that I have the exchange trusted subsystem in there. Um, and it obviously needs read and write permissions. Uh, in this case, I gave it full control. So that when you export it, exports to a share. So I'm now going to run this command. To basically start with the export so as you can see now this is queued so get mailbox export request get mailbox export request statistics so now I want to see how far this export is now let me just fix the sizing here you can see that this is successfully exported because, I mean, the mailbox is tiny. But you can pretty much see how easy it is to do an export. And in, in the next video, we will look at doing an import of the same mailbox to another user. And then following that, we'll show you how to actually clear these export requests. Thank you very much for watching.